Hi, my name is Teteje Kepsi Richard and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today, our discussion will still be on solving SSC and what's your objective questions on indices in core mathematics. Last, we solve all the indices questions in core mathematics that comes in WASI from 1993 to 2010. Today, before the video will end, we we'll solve the objective questions in core maths on indices from 2011 to 2021. This will be a very interesting engagement, so please come with me. So in our last video, remember I told you that so far there have been 62 objective questions on indices in core maths from 1993 to 2021. And last, we saw from 1993 to 2010, and we solved 33 objective questions. Please check out that video on YouTube. So today, we'll start from 20, 2011 and starting from objective question number 34. So this is objective question number 34. What's see June 2011? Question um, Objective question number 2. They say if a exponent negative n all exponent 2 is equal to a exponent 4, we should find the value of n. So how do we do this? You know this can be this a exponent negative n all square equal to a exponent 4. Remember, there is a property. Please check out my videos on properties on indices. We can write this as this will multiply this negative n times 2 be negative 2n equal to a exponent 4. Look at it. When the basis are the same, we are free to equate the exponent. So negative 2n will be equal to 4. We divide both sides by negative 2. Our n will be equal to 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. So n is equal to negative 2. The correct answer is b. So the next one it was on what's it June 2012? Question number 2. It said evaluate 2 exponent 0 plus 2 exponent negative 1 plus 2 exponent negative 2. So how do we solve that? See 2 exponent 0. We say any number exponent 0 is 1. So 2 exponent 0 is 1. We can rewrite this as 1 over 2 exponent 1. Please, this is on properties of indices. Then this will be 1 over 2 exponent 2. So this will be equal to 1 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 2 exponent 2 is 4. So find the LCM. The LCM of this is 4. 4 divided by 1 is 4. Times 1 will be 4. Plus 4 divided by 2 is 2. Times 1 will be 2. Plus 4 divided by 4 is 1. Times 1 will be 1. 4 plus 2 plus 1 will be 7. So 7 out of 4. Now 7 divided by 4 will be 1 remainder 3. So we say 1 whole number 3 out of 4. So the correct answer then is D. I hope you get that. So our next one says that it's on what is June 2012, question number 47. So they say, objective question number 47, say, if 8 exponent x minus 2 over 3 equal to 2 exponent x squared, we should find the value of x. Please, you can pause the video and try solving. Now, you compare your answers with mine. So we said that in indices, when the basis are the same, we are free to equate the exponent. So we, were, we have to make sure that the basis here are the same. So 8 in an, index, in an index form will be 2 exponent 3. So times our x minus 2 over 3 is equal to 2 exponent x squared. So you can see the basis are the same now. We can equate the exponent. So we say 3 bracket x minus 2 out of 3 will be equal to x squared. Now we expand this bracket. We get 3x. Three, 3 times 2 over 3 is 2. Then it's equal to x squared. Now we say everything here, equate it to zero. We get x squared minus 3x plus 2 equal, equal to zero. So this forms a quadratic equation. So we solve it. The factors of 2, when we add, we get negative 3. We multiply, we get 2. That's 1 and negative 2. So we get x squared minus s minus 2s plus 2 equal to zero. Now if we bracket the first two and the last two. What is common here? X. We bring it out. We let with x minus 1. What's common here? Minus 2. X minus 1. Equal to 0. 
Then we can factor out x minus 1. x minus 1 out. We will have x minus 2 equal to 0. So we take each of them equal to 0. x minus 1 equal to 0. x will be equal to 1. And x minus 2 equal to 0. x will be equal to 2. So x is equal to 2 or 1. So the correct answer then is D. I hope you got it correct. So the next one I say, if 343 exponent x plus 5 is equal to 12, we should find the value of s. The possible answers are there. This is November, that's an update 2012, question number 4. Please pause the video and try solving. Now you compare answers with mine. We can re if we have 300, uh, 343 exponent x plus 5 equal to 12, you can have 343 exponent s equal to 12 minus 5. Now 343 exponent x will be equal to 7. Now you have to make the basis to be the same. That's why we are free to equate the exponent. So 343 343 is the same as 7 exponent 3. 7 exponent 3 is 343. So I have three and four, uh, 7 exponent 3s equal to 7 exponent 1. 7 is the same as 7 exponent 1 in an index form. Now the basis are the same. We equate the exponent. So 3s will be equal to 1. We divide both sides by 3. x is equal to 1 third. So the correct answer there is C. I hope you had it correct. So the next one is on C June. 2013 question number one objective question number one you see if i solve the equation 2 exponent 9 x minus 3 equal to 8 exponent 3 minus x please pause the video and try solving now you compare answers with mine so we have to make the basis to be the same then we can equate the exponent so 2 exponent 9 x minus 3 i'm equal to 2 exponent 3 is 8 so we have 2 exponent 3 bracket 3 minus x. Now the basis are the same. We can equate the exponent. So we send 9x minus 3 will be equal to 3 uh, bracket 3x three, 3 minus x. We have 9x minus 3 will be equal to 3 times 3. We expand the bracket. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times s will be minus 3s. Now we'll group like them. 9x plus 3s will be equal to 9 plus 3. 9x plus 3s is 12x. 9 plus 3 is 12. Now we divide both sides by 12. Our x is nothing but 1. So the correct answer then will be C. So the next one is on November 2013. Objective question number 37. Please pause the video and try solving. This is solve 1 over 25 exponent x. Minus one over, uh, 1 over 125 exponent x minus 1 over 25 exponent 3 over 4 equal to 0. So we are going to find the value of s in that case. So we can rewrite that equation as 1 over 25 exponent x is equal to 1 over 25 exponent 3 over 4. So I send this to the other side of the equation. Now our, our task is to make the basis of both sides of the equation equal. When they are equal, we can equate the exponent. So 1 over 25 is same as 5 exponent 3. You can have 5 exponent 3, all exponent s equal to 125 is 5 exponent 3. Then this will be 5 exponent 2 is 25. All exponent 3 out of 4. We can rewrite this as 5 exponent negative 3 using the properties exponent x equal to 5 exponent negative 2 exponent 3 out of 4. So what do we have? When we multiply this by this, we we'll get 5 exponent negative 3x. Then negative 2, see, negative 2 times 3 out of 4. We we'll get, see, 2 going to this for 2 times. So we we'll get negative 3 out of 2. So we have 5 exponent negative 3 out of 2. So now we have succeeded in making the basis equal. 
you can equate the exponent. So negative 3x is equal to negative 3 out of 2. So we'll multiply through by the denominator 2. So we have 2 times negative 3x equal to negative 3 out of 2 times 2. So these two can divide that. 2 times negative 3x will give you negative 6x equal to negative 3. Now divide both sides by negative 6. x will be equal to 3 out of 6. So 3 will divide itself 1. Divide 6 2 times. So our s will be equal to half. So among the possible answers, the correct answer then is D. So the next one on indices was on was it 2014. Objective question number 35. Let's simplify the square root of 8 exponent 2 times 4 exponent n plus 1 all over 2 exponent 2n times 16. The square root of that. So now how do we solve that? So first, we have to make sure that all the bases in this are the same. So this can be written as 8 is the same as 2 exponent 3. So I have 2 exponent 3 then times our exponent 2. Times 4 is 2 exponent 2 times the n plus 1 over this is 2 exponent 2n times 16 is the same as 2 exponent 4. So now the basis are okay. Let's simplify this first. We'll have the square root of 2, 3 times 2. Remember that property will be 6 times we expand here 2 exponent 2n plus 2 all over 2 exponent 2n times 2 exponent 4. What happened? Since they are multiplying and the bases are the same, we we'll just repeat one of the base and add the exponent. The same one, the same thing applied to this one. So so we'll continue to have the square root of 2 exponent 6 plus 2n plus 2 all over 2 exponent 2n plus 4. So I will simplify this further. We'll get see we can add this is to 2. We'll get 2 exponent 8 plus 2n over 2 exponent 2n plus 4. So, this is dividing with the same base. We can subtract the exponent. So, we have the square root of 2 exponent 8 plus 2n minus 2n plus 4. I will simplify that. We have the square root of 2 exponent 8 plus 2n minus 2n minus 4. So, what are we having? We have the square root of 2 exponent. See, 8 minus 4 is 4. 2n minus 2n is 0. Now, 2 exponent 4 is 16. The square root of 16 is nothing but 4. So the correct answer then is C. The next one is on was in November 2014. Objective question number 44. They say if 5 exponent x is equal to n, Express 25 exponent x plus 1 in terms of n. So that's how we are going to solve it. So 25 exponent x plus 1 in an index form will be 5 exponent 2 times x plus 1. 25 is the same as 5 exponent 2. So when we expand this, we get 5 exponent 2x plus 2. So this can be rewritten as 5 exponent 2x times 5 exponent 2. You know, when the bases are the same and they are multiplying, we can repeat one of the base and, and, and add the exponent. So we can rewrite this as 5 exponent x all square, then times 5 square is 25. Look at it. 5 exponent x is n. So in place of 5 exponent x, we substitute n. So you can say n square times 25. So that will be n squared times 25. n squared times 25 will be 25 n squared. So the correct answer then is D. So our 42nd objective question was on was in June 2015. Objective question number 4. So they say if 27 exponent x times 3 exponent 1 minus x over 9 exponent 2x is equal to 1. You should find the value of x. 
how do we solve that? We change all this to have a base of three, to have the same base. So 27 is 3 exponent 3. 3 exponent 3 is 27. So times our x, then times 3 exponent 1 minus x over 9 is 3 exponent 2. So times our 2x and to be equal to 1. Now look at it. The bases are the same here. We, are, we can add the exponent. So I have 3 exponent 3x plus 1 minus x over 2 times 2x will be 4x is equal to 1. So what do we have? When we simplify this, 3x minus x will be 2x. So I have 3 exponent 2x plus 1 all over 3 exponent 4x is equal to 1. So this, our 1 is over 1, it's a fraction over 1. We can cross multiply this, multiply this. 1 times this will be 3 exponent 2x plus 1. We will be equal to 3 exponent 4x times 1 will be 3 exponent 4x. Now the basis are the same. We can equate the exponent. 2x plus 1 will be equal to 4x. Now we group like terms. 2x minus 4x will be equal to negative 1. 2x minus 4x is negative 2x will be equal to negative 1. When we divide both sides by negative 2, our x will be equal to half. So the correct answer then is B. So the next one says that if 2 exponent n is equal to y, we should find 2 exponent 2 plus n over 3. This was on Wasi June 2015. Objective question number 7. Now let's see how we solve that. So 2 exponent n plus n over 3 can be written as 2 exponent n times 2 exponent n over 3. 2 exponent 2 times 2 exponent n over 3. That when the basis are the same, we can add the exponent and we'll get this back. Now we can get 2 exponent 2 times 2 exponent n times 1 third. When we multiply n by 1 third, we'll get n over 3. 2 exponent 2 is nothing but 4. Then times times 2 exponent n was given as y. So in place of 2 exponent n, we substitute y. So y exponent 1 third. 4 times y exponent 1 third will be 4y exponent 1 third. So the correct answer then is E. So the next one, say given that 5 exponent n is equal to k, we should find the value of 5 exponent n plus 1. We should find 5 exponent n plus 1 in terms of k. This was on November 2015, objective question number 35. So 5 exponent n plus 1 can be written as 5 exponent n times 5 exponent 1. So we have 5 exponent n times 5. Now 5 exponent n is k. So that will be k times 5. k times 5. k times 5 is 5k. So the correct answer then is a. So the objective question number 7 on June 2016 was the objective question. It's on our indices. They say 3 exponent n minus 1 times 27 exponent n plus 1 all over 81 exponent n. We should simplify that. So now how do we do that? We can change all these things to have a base of 3. So we have 3 exponent n minus 1 times 3 exponent 3 is 27. So 3 exponent 3 times n plus 1 over 3 exponent 4 is 81. So we have 3 exponent 4 then times our n. We can expand this. We have 3 exponent n minus 1 times 3 exponent 3n plus 3 over 3 exponent 4n. Now the basis are the same. We can add the exponent for the top. So add, we get 3 exponent n minus 1 plus 3n plus 3 over 3 exponent 4n. So now we add n to 3n, get 4n. Negative 1 plus 3 will be plus 2 over 3 exponent 4n. Now, which can be written as 3 exponent 4n plus 2 
divided by 3 exponent 4n. This can be written as that. So now they are divided and the basis are the same. We can subtract the exponent. So we have 3 exponent 4n plus 2 minus 4n. 4n minus 4n is 0. So I have 3 exponent 2. 3 exponent 2 is nothing but 9. So the correct answer then is B. So for the sixth question on indices in commas was on November 2016, objective question number 35. We say 3 exponent, 2 exponent 3 is equal to 0 0.25. We find a value of x. So we have 2 exponent 3x will be equal to this can be written as 25 over 100. So we have 2 exponent 3x is equal to 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. So we have 2 exponent 3s is equal to 1 over 2 exponent 2. So we can rewrite this using a property. We have 2 exponent 3s will be equal to 2 exponent negative 2. Now the basis are the same. We can equate the exponent. So 3s will be equal to negative 2. We divide both sides by 3. S will be equal to negative 2 out of 3. So the correct answer then is B. So the next one says we should simplify 1 over 16 exponent negative 1 over 2 plus 8 over 27 exponent to third. And this was on what's in November 2016, objective question number 36. So now how do we solve that? So we can rewrite this as 1 over 2, uh, 1 over 4 exponent exponent 2. All exponent negative half. Then plus 2 exponent 3 is 8. So 2 exponent 3 over 3 exponent 3 is 27. So 3 exponent 3 all exponent to 10. We can rewrite this as 4 exponent neg negative 2 times negative 1 over 2 plus this can be written as 2 exponent 2 exponent 3 times 2 over 3 over 2 exponent, uh, 3 exponent 3 times 2 over 3. So negative 2 times negative 1 over 2 is nothing but 1. So I have 4 exponent 1 plus 3 times 2 third will be 2. So that will be 2 exponent 2 over 3 times 2 third will be 2. That will be 3 exponent 2. So our 4 exponent 1 is nothing but 4 plus 2 exponent 2 is 4. 3 exponent 2 will be over will be 9. Now we'll find the LCM and simplify. The LCM will be 9. 9 divided by 1 is 9 times 4 will be will be 36. 9 times 4 is 36. Then plus 9 divided by 9 is 1 times 4 will be 4. 36 plus 4 is 40 over 9. Now 9 will go into 40 uh, 40 divided by 9 will be will be 4, 4 times 4 times 9 is 36 so that is remainder 4 so that is 4 out of 9 so I have 4 whole number 4 out of 9 the correct answer then is D so then what the next one on it say given that T is equal to 2 x point negative S we should find 2 x point X plus 1 in terms of T this was on Wasi June 2017, objective question number 43. So now t equal to 2 exponent negative s can be rewritten as t is equal to 1 over 2 exponent x. Please check out my properties on indices. Now, this is over 1 we'll cross multiply. We'll get 2 exponent x times t. 1 times 1 is equal to 1. Then we'll divide both sides by t. Here by t. Here by t, you get 2 exponent x is equal to 1 out of t. Now come here. This can be written as 2 exponent x times 2 exponent 1. So 2 exponent x plus 1 can be equal to 2 exponent x. 2 exponent 1 is 2. Now our 2 exponent x, we find it to be 1 out of t. So we substitute. So our 2 exponent x plus 1 will be equal to 1 out of t times 2. 
So this over 1, one multiply, we get 2 over t. Then 2 exponent x plus 1, which we are asking to find, is equal to 2 over t. So the correct answer then is a, 2 over t. So the next one, say if 0 0.25 exponent x is equal to 32, we should find the value of x. This, on, this was on WASI November 2017, objective question number 45. So now, 0 0.25 can be written as 25 over 100 exponent x, and it will be equal to 32. Now, 25 divided by itself is 1. 100 divided by 25 will be 4 exponent x, equal to 32. Now, the 1 over 4 can be written as 1 over 2 exponent 2, all exponent x, and it will be equal to 2 exponent 5 is 32. So this can be 2 exponent negative 2 times x equal to 2 exponent 5. Now the basis are the same. We can equate the exponent. You say negative 2 x will be equal to 5. On the variable side by negative 2, our x will be equal to negative, negative 5 over 2. So the correct answer then is D. So the next one, that's the objective question number 50 on indices in commerce, was on WASI June 2018, objective question number 2. So given that 3 times 9 exponent 1 minus x is equal to 27 exponent negative x, we should find the value of x. Now we have to rewrite all this thing to have a base of 3. So I have 3 exponent 1 times 3 exponent 2 is 9. So we have 3 exponent 2 times 1 minus x is equal to 3 exponent 3 is 27. So we have 3 exponent 3 times negative x. How do I have 3 exponent 1 times 3 exponent 2 minus 2x will be equal to 3 exponent negative 3x. Now look at this. We are multiplying with the same base. We add the exponent. So we have 3 exponent 1 plus 2 minus 2x will be equal to 3 exponent negative 3x. So 1 plus 2 is 3. So we have 3 exponent 3 minus 2x will be equal to 3 exponent negative 3x. Now the basis are the same. We can equate the exponent. So we have 3 minus 2x will be equal to negative 3x. Now when we group like terms, we get negative 2x plus 3x will be equal to negative 3. Negative 2x plus 3x is x. x will be equal to negative 3. So the correct answer then, is D. So the next one says we should simplify x exponent negative 1 plus y exponent negative 1 over x plus y. The possible answers are given. This was on WASI June 2018, objective question number 12. Now, how do we solve that? See, x exponent negative 1 can be written as 1 over x exponent 1, then plus 1 over y exponent 1 all over x plus y. Now, I will simplify further. This will be equal to 1 over x plus 1 over y over x plus y. So we can rewrite this as 1 over x plus 1 over y divided by x plus y. So now we'll find the LCM. The LCM here is xy. xy divided by x will be y. y times 1 will be y. Plus xy divided by y will be x. x times 1 will be x. Divided by x plus y. This x plus y is nothing but over 1. Now y plus x is the same as x plus y. Divide, uh, over xy divided by x plus y. So, we can write this as x plus y over xy. Then since it is multiplying, it is dividing, we can change to multiplication problem. Then we reciprocate this. 1 over x plus y. So look at it. x plus y here, we divide this x plus y. What is left? We have 1 over xy. So the correct answer is 1 over xy. So the 
that is option C. So the next one, which was from November 2018, objective question number 32 says that if 3 exponent negative x is equal to k, what is 3 exponent x? So 3 exponent negative x is equal to k. 3 exponent negative x can be written as 1 over 3 exponent x and is equal to k. Now, what is 3 exponent x? 3 exponent x, that's what we are finding. So, we we'll multiply both sides. We we'll, we'll multi we'll cross multiply. 1 times 1 will be 1. Then, 3x times k will be k 3x and to be equal to 1. Now, we need 3 exponent x. We we'll divide both sides by k. Now, 3 exponent x is nothing but 1 out of k. So, the correct answer then is D. So the next one says we should evaluate 0 0.064 exponent negative one third. This was on Wasi June 2019, objective question number two. So how can we solve that? This can be 0 0.064, 764 over 1000 exponent negative one third. So you can rewrite this thing. To have a positive exponent as 100,000 over 64 exponent one third. Please check out my properties on, check out my videos on properties of indices. Now, to solve this, 10 exponent 3 will be 1,000 and 4 exponent 3 will be 64. So let's change that to have 10 exponent 3 over 4 exponent 3 times 1 third. So this will be equal to 10 exponent 3 times 1 third over 4 exponent 3 times 1 third. 3 times 1 third is 1. So we have 10 exponent 1 over 3 times 1 third is 1. So 4 exponent 1. So we have 10 out of 4. 10 exponent 1 is 10. 4 exponent 1 is 4. Now, 10 divided by 2 will be 5. And 4 divided by 2 is 2. So the answer then is 5 out of 2. The correct answer is D. So the next one say that if 0 0.25 exponent y is equal to 32, we should find a value of y. This was on YC June 2019. Objective question number 18. So now 0 0.25 can be written as 25 over 100 exponent y will be equal to 32. 25 into each self is 1. 25 into 100 will be 4 exponent y equal to 32. Now, 1 over 4 can be written as 1 over 2 exponent 2. All exponent y is equal to 32. 2 exponent 2, 1 over 2 exponent 2 can be written as 2 exponent negative 2 times y. And 32 is the same as 2 exponent 5. So now the basis are the same. We can include the exponent. So I have negative 2y will be equal to 5. I want to divide both sides by negative 2. Y will be equal to negative 5 out of 2. The correct answer then is A. So the next one, June 2019, objective question number 23. You say if 2 exponent a is equal to the square root of 64 and b over a is equal to 3. You should evaluate a square plus b square. So 2 exponent a will be equal to 60. The square root of 64 is 8. So 2 exponent a. 8 in an index form is 2 exponent 3. So the basis are the same. We can equate the exponent. So a is equal to 3. So now we know the value of a. We'll find the value of b. So, b over a is equal to 3. So, since a is 3, b over 3 will be equal to 3. On cross multiply, 1 times b will be b. 3 times 3 is 9. So, b is equal to 9. So, now we are going to evaluate a square plus b square. a is 3, so that will be 3 square. Plus b is 9, that will be 9 square. 3 square is 9. And 9 square is 81. 9 plus 81 is 90. So the correct answer 
is B. The next one, November 2019, objective question number four was also on indices. This is that find y if 1 over 27 times 3 exponent negative y is equal to 81 exponent 2y. So you have to change all this to have a base of 3. So 1 over 27 will be 1 over 3 exponent 3. 27 is 3 exponent 3 times 3 exponent negative y will be equal to 81 is 3 exponent 4. So 3 exponent 4 times our 2y. So this can be rewritten as 3 exponent negative 3 using the properties times 3 exponent negative y equal to 4 times 2y will be 8y. So now the bases are the same and they are multiplying. We can add the exponent. So 3 exponent negative 3 plus negative y will be equal to 3 exponent 8y. Now the bases are the same. So we can equate the exponent. So our minus 3 plus minus y will be equal to 8y. Now group like this. Minus y minus 8y will be equal to 3. Minus y minus 8y will be minus 9y and it will be equal to 3. We divide both sides by negative 9. Our y will be equal to negative 3 over 9. 3 into itself will be 1 and 3, 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the correct answer there is negative 1 over 3 and that's B. So the next one is if 1 over 9 exponent y minus 1 is equal to the square root of 3, you should find the value of y. This was on was in November 2019. Question, objective question number 14. So we can pause the video and try solving. Now you compare answers with mine. So 1 over 9. Now we can re rewrite this as, as 1 over 3 exponent 2, all exponent y minus 1, and it will be equal to. See, the square root of every number is that number exponent half. So the square root of 3 will be 3 exponent half. We can rewrite this using the property as 3 exponent negative 2 times y minus 1 will be equal to 3 exponent half. So half. 3 exponent negative 2 times y minus 1. We call it 3 exponent half. Now the bases are the same. We can equate the exponent. So minus 2 times y minus 1 will be equal to half. We get minus 2y. Uh, 2 times negative 2 times y will be negative 2y. Negative 2 times negative 1 will be plus 2. And to be equal to half. So we can multiply through by half by 2. So we have 2 times negative 2 plus 2 equal to half times 2. So 2 times negative 2y will be negative 4y. Then 2 times 2 will be plus 4. And we go to half times 2 is 1. So I have negative 4y equals to 1 minus 4. Negative 4y will be equal to 1 minus 4 is negative 3. Over negative 4, over negative 4, we divide both sides by negative 4. Our y will be 3 out of 4. So the correct answer is A. So the next one, November 2019, objective question number 22 say we should simplify 16 over 81 exponent negative 3 over 4 times 100 over 81 exponent half. Now how do we do that? See, we can rewrite this as. 81 over 16 exponent 3 over 4. Please check out my videos on properties of indices. All these things are there. Times 100 over 81 exponent half. Since it is negative, we can swap and the exponent to become positive. So 3 exponent 4 is 81. So we can change that. 3 exponent 4 and 2 exponent 4 is 16. 2 exponent 4. All exponent 3 over 4 times 100 is the same as 10 exponent 2 over the 81 is 9 exponent 2 all exponent half. So this can be rewritten as 3 exponent 4 times 3 over 4 over 2 exponent 4 
times 3 over 4 times 10 exponent 2 times half over 9 exponent 2 times half. So when you multiply it, 4 times 3 fourth is 3. So half 3 exponent 3 over this also will be 3. So half 2 exponent 3 times 2 times half is 1. So half 3 exponent 1 over 9 exponent 1. 3 exponent 3 is 27. And 2 exponent 3 is 8 times 10 out of 9. See, 9 can go into itself 1 and divide 27 3 times. 2 can divide 8 4 times and divide 10 5 times. What's left? We have 3 times 5 over 4 times 1. 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times 1 is 4. So the correct answer is 15 over 4. And that's C. There is another nice one here. It says simplify bracket to be 16 over 9 exponent negative 3 over 2 times 16 exponent negative 3 over 4. All exponent 1. Third. This was on June 2020. Objective question number 3. Now let's see how we solve this. See, we can rewrite this as 9 over 16. Then this will change to positive 3 over 2. Please check out my videos on properties of indices. Then times 16 exponent 3 over 4. All exponent 1 third. So what we have, we can write 9 in an index form as 3 exponent 2. Over 4 in an index form, uh, 16 in an index form as 4 exponent 2. All exponent 3 over 2. Times 16 in an index form can be 2 exponents 4 times negative 3 over 4 all exponents 1 third. So what we have we can we can distribute this we we'll get 3 exponent 3 times th uh, 3 exponent 2 times 3 over 2 all over 4 exponent 2 times 3 over 2 then times 4 times 3 over 4 4 times negative 3 over 4 will be negative 3. So I have 2 exponent negative 3. All exponents 1 third. So I'm simplify this. 2 times 3, 3 over 2 is 3. So I have 3 exponent 3 over 2 times 3 over 2 is 3 again. So 4 exponent 3 times 2 exponent negative 3. All exponents 1 third. So what can we do? We can distribute this one third over it. We'll get 3 exponent 3 times 1 third over 4 exponent 3 times 1 third. Then times 2 exponent negative 3 times 1 third. So when 3 multiply 1 third, it's nothing but 1. So 3 exponent 1 over the same here, 4 exponent 1. Then times this will be negative 1. So we have 2 exponent negative 1. 3 exponent 1 is 3. 4 exponent 1 is 4. Then 2 exponent negative 1 is the same as 1 over 2 exponent 1. And 2 exponent 1 is 2. Now when 3 multiply 1, we'll get 3. 4 multiply 2, we'll get 8. So the correct answer there is 3 out of 4. And uh, 3 out of 8. And that's B. So the 60th objective question for the day was on November 2020. Objective question number four. And it says that if one over four exponent s is equal to two exponent three s minus three, you should find the value of x. Now, how do we solve that? Please pause the video and solve and compare your answers with mine. You are free to do that. So what we have here, we have one over four is the same as one over two exponent two. All exponent s and equal to two exponent three x minus three. We can rewrite this as 2 exponent negative 2 times x and it's called 2 exponent 3x minus 3. So this can be written as 2 exponent 2x, that's negative 2 times x, we will call to 2 exponent 3x minus 3. So the basis are the same, we can equate the exponent. So negative 2x will be called to 3x minus 3. 
Or en groupe là, tu as un négative 2s minus 3s and it's equal to 3. Negative 2s minus 3s will be negative 5s. We will call to negative 3 and it is equal to negative 3. Now divide both sides by negative 5. Our s will be equal to 3 out of 5. So the correct answer there is C. So last year, June 2021, objective question number 3 was on indices. And that's solve 2 exponent, the square root of 2 s plus 1 equal to 32. So what do we do? We must make sure that the basis of both sides of the equation is the same. Then we are free to equate the exponent. I have 2 exponent, negative, uh, 2 exponent, the square root of 2 s plus 1, will be equal to 32 is 2 exponent 5. So now the basis are the same. We can equate the exponent. So the square root of 2 x plus 1 will be equal to 5. Now how do we remove this square? We can square both sides. Remove the square root. So when we square both sides, the square root will be gone. 2x plus 1 will be equal to 5 exponent 2 is 25. So 2s will be equal to 25 minus 1. 2s will be equal to 25 minus 1 is 24. On divide both sides by 2. 24 divided by 2 is nothing by 12. So the correct answer then is D. So we'll solve our last question on this objective on indices. Please. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the notification bell so that if I post more questions on indices on the subjective uh, in commerce, the subjective aspect of this, you'll be the first to receive it. Now, let's see how we do that. Is it, if 16 times 2 exponent x plus 1 is equal to 4 exponent x times 8 exponent 1 minus s, we should find the value of s. This was on YC June 2021, last year. Objective question number 10. Now let's see how we we'll solve that. Please pause the video. Feel free and pause the video and try solving. So 16 in an exponent form will be 2 exponent 4. So times 2 exponent x plus 1 will be equal to 4 will be 2 exponent 2. So I have 2 exponent 2 times x times the 8 is 2 exponent 3 times 1 of 1 minus x. So we'll simplify very well. We have 2 exponent 4 times 2 exponent x plus 1 will be equal to 2 exponent 2x. Then times this will be 2 exponent 3 minus 3x. When we expand the bracket. Now look at it. The basis are the same and they are multiplying. We are free to add the exponent. We have 2 exponent 4 plus x plus 1 will be equal to 2 exponent 2x plus 3 minus 3x. What happened? We have 4 plus 1 is 5. So 2 exponent 5 plus x will be equal to see 2x minus 3x is negative x. We have negative x plus 3. So now the basis are the same. We can equate the exponent. So 5 plus x will be equal to negative x plus 3. So our group like terms x plus x will be equal to 3 minus 5. x plus x is 2x. 3 minus 5 is negative 2. On the variable side by 2, our x will be equal to negative 1. So the correct answer then is D. Please we'll end it here. Remember to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notification bell as, as I said. And to meet again, my name is the PGM Kevsi Richie.